allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y la república que representa una nación bajo Dios indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Honra la bandera de Texas. Te prometo lealtad, Texas, un estado bajo Dios, uno e indivisible. Today for lunch, you have a choice of beef barbecue rib sandwich, turkey and cheese sub, or sun butter and jelly sandwich, and your vegetable is zingy crinkle fries. Happy birthday to any students or staff who are celebrating a birthday today. View Hills Eagles, it's Mrs. Jakey, your principal here. And I want to share something with you this morning that's super important to Grandview Hills, and it is our vision statement. Some of you might remember that you helped write it last spring. Listen very carefully because Miss Britt and Miss Jakey are going to eventually ask you for the really important words that are in it. Here we go. GHE Eagles are a diverse community of problem solvers who strive to be confident and compassionate leaders. As global thinkers, we inspire and empower each other to succeed by embracing lifelong learning, grit, and academic excellence. That's our vision statement, Eagles. Hey Eagles, we've been playing our vision statement on the announcements quite a bit, and as I walk through the school in the morning, sometimes I hear classes saying the vision along with the announcements. So I wonder, do you know it? Can you recite it? Have your teacher record you and send it to me, and we can put you on the announcements saying our vision statement. Happy Wednesday, Eagles! It's Would You Rather Wednesday, and today it's me, Miss Britt, and I'm here with my buddy, Justice. Justice, take it away! Would you rather eat a black burrito or have your grandma's wardrobe? That's a good question. Justice, what would you rather, eat an earwax burrito or wear your grandmother's wardrobe? <laughs> me too. I would much rather wear my grandmother's wardrobe. All right, what would you rather, Grandview Hills Eagles? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Eagles. It's Wonder Wednesday with Mrs. Wells and her favorite little substitute, Maisie the Sea Turtle. So today we're going to talk about a big old science word. It's called bio, and that's a root word, B-I-O, which means life, like biology is the study of life. But I'm putting the word mimicry. And if you mimic someone, that means you do exactly what they do. If they turn their head that way, you turn your head that way. If they raise this hand and wave at you, you do the same. So what is biomimicry, life mimicry? Well, what that is, and why I've got my little turtle here, I'm going to show you. People for a long time look to creatures to make products. And so when they got to looking at the sea turtle that's lived since the time before dinosaurs, they were like, What's it got that makes it live that long um, and not, you know, become extinct like a lot of things that lived around the dinosaurs do? And they decided it was this little helmet. Helmet? No, it's a shell. But they decided, well, if it protects that little sea turtle, 
then it's got to protect us. So I want to talk to you about this redesigned shell into a helmet. And I want to talk to you about Kid Talk. So we have bicycle helmets and we use them very much like the turtle uses its shell. So we're going to innovate on the bike helmet. So this is just a general design. I want you to try to add at least three things that can make it better than what already exists. So we're going to take the shell, which is now a bicycle helmet that protects our head, and add three things. Okay, cue the music, Miss Bartley. We're going to become innovative engineers. Okay, little Maisie, Steffi, and I have finished. And I'm going to tell you, when I was a little kid, I wore rode the, my bike all the time, and I didn't have to wear a helmet. It wasn't until people started getting head injuries by falling. And I'm going to tell you, I fell a couple of times, and a helmet might have done me good. Maybe that's what's wrong with Miss Wells and when she gets crazy. So those early um, bike falls. I hope not. So this is what I added. So I added these... Um, Stra straps to you know fasten your helmet but i put reflectors on all of these so that people can see you from either direction and then i had this what i call a sensor mic and so it <clears throat> and like if you fall it senses it and it automatically dials 911 with a gps that tells you where you are that tells the emergency people where you are so they can come help you and then these are my little kind of shields. They kind of go up and down depending on what direction the rain is coming from. Have you ever seen rain that comes from this way? It can be bad. I know you guys have sh shields but um, on your bikes, especially motorcyclists. But I just, that was my innovation. So if it, rain is coming this way, you can block it from, you know, hitting you in the eye and making it dangerous for you to see. Now, I, this, I know we have lights on our helmets. But this one is an automatic, and it goes from high to low beam, depending on how much light is outside. So if it's very dark, it's going to go to high beam, and then as the sun starts to come up, it may go on to lower beam. Those things might already exist. I don't know, but not to my knowledge. I have to research to see if they are. How did you use the turtle shell to create a bicycle helmet that fits the global goal good health and well-being because when you protect your head it's really important okay so have a wonderful and safe wonder wednesday bye everybody hi grandview hills eagles it's me mrs Britt, your assistant principal and i come to you today with a public service announcement part of being an ib student is the call to action. And today I am practicing advocacy. I am really saddened to report that our restrooms are not being taken care of. I need your help, boys and girls. I need you to leave the restrooms better than you found it. I need you, if you drop a paper towel, like I do all the time by accident, I need you to pick it up and then rewash your hands. I need you to make sure you respect the toilets, the urinals, and the sinks and the mirrors and the cubbies. I need you to take care of our campus. Can you please, as IB students, can you please be caring to yourselves, to your community members, to your fellow students, and to the custodial staff here at Granby Hills? I know you can do it. I have faith in you, and I can't wait to see a better restroom in our future. Thank you, and I'm off.